So, chuck this in there like that. I need to put these two bolts sticking through first. I'm not going to weld them because I can still get a spanner and underneath to do them. So I need to just sit them through the hole first. other two over here they um they have enough room from the side here just to sit them in like that so I'll do that after I've, I've done all these but these ones they have to go on first otherwise it's not going to sit together Now I'm going to set the transmission on here without the coupling on just to make sure that everything, I mean, these, these two little dowels, they need to line up with the transmission properly. Um, I'm pretty certain that they're going to work because they lined up with the, the plate over there. And because the transmission's aluminium, if there is a little slight error on one of these, it'll just still go on anyway. It'll just sort of bend because it's soft. So I'm going to set the transmission on here, make sure that's going to work and go from there. Um. This side here hasn't quite seated yet. There we go. It's on there. Cool. And the uh, bolts, they have plenty of thread for the nuts to, to lock up and room in there. And just to make sure, here's the two top holes. It's all going together. Right, let's get that coupling on. Now, where is it? I mentioned before that I was going to drill a hole in here, put a grub screw in so I could um, lock it onto the shaft. This is hardened steel. You can't drill it. Not with any uh, basic tools anyway. So, the other thing I noticed, the thing I noticed the other day is that when it goes on here it's really tight it didn't used to be this tight um, and I think because I've welded the top here it's actually heat shrunk some of it slightly um, so what I think is that if I tap it on at the right height that I need I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to move because um, I mean the worst thing that could happen is this will slowly travel up and start to eat into the transmission and then and then something will go bad. But the way I see things, I can't do anything about it. Um, I mean, I could put some Loctite on something if, if I do hear it going wrong, but I think I'm just gonna have to run it as it is. So I'll need to figure out the height that I need this, this uh, adapter to sit at, tap it to that height, and then fit the transmission back on top.